Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you aboard flight 143, bound for Sofia, Bulgaria. We are currently preparing for departure and anticipate a smooth flight today. Before we get underway, I'd like to give a special welcome to my good friend Ryan. He's currently on a mission to visit all the countries in Europe. So if you haven't already, go watch his videos and leave a comment. Whilst you're at it, you might as well hit like and subscribe, because why not? Once again, this flight is bound for Sofia, Bulgaria. Good morning. Welcome to Sofia, the capital city of Bulgaria. This place is used to be called Surgica and you can see a lot of references to that name in their metro station, like a lot of shops around the city and even some hotels. There are a lot of places to visit and things to do and I don't think I can do and visit all of them so I'm just gonna take it slow and enjoy the moment. The first place that I'm gonna explore is one of the most famous sites. In fact, it's probably the icon of the city. If you Google Sofia, Bulgaria, this will show up. I'm so glad that I woke up early today and started my exploration early because the sunrise is just there. It illuminates the golden dome of the cathedral. It looks amazing. I'm not sure if it translates in the video, but that cathedral is humongous. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna walk towards the other end of the street uh, because there's an incredible looking church on that side. I think there's something big happening today because there's a lot of policemen around and they're cordon off the, almost the entire street. So yeah, this must be the center of whatever event that's happening soon it's look there's all the tv people and there's a lot of armies and policemen around oh my god i feel like i'm gonna get arrested anytime soon if um, i'm in the middle of the road and both sides are all cordoned off as you can see behind me the street is just lined up with policemen army even and um, big things are happening They are a lot stricter on the side. I'm not allowed to cross the street. So I need to find like, I don't know, crossing somewhere. Just in front of me is their parliament building and this really nice statue as well in front of it. Yeah, today is not great for sightseeing. Um, <laughs> A lot of the streets are shut, so... There's a military parade happening and you see these tanks and military vehicles they are lined on the streets, they're cordoning off the whole street, so it's hard to go on the other side, you have to go underground. I just spoke to one of the guys, and apparently today is the Bulgarian military day, which is why you see all those tanks around and military vehicles. It's almost worth coming here just for this. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna go explore anymore, I'm just gonna stay here and look at the tank. Streets are literally lined with a uh, military tank. With that, how cool is that? So, they're not letting people on the main street, so you have to <laughs> find another way to get to the next church. But I discovered this amazing plaza. Look at this, and there is a really nice building, and I don't know what it is. So, um Let's Google Translate the writings on, on the wall. It 
says National Theatre Ivan Vazov. So that's a theatre. Thank goodness for Google Translate, hey. I imagine there'll be loads of people later once the celebration starts. So let's finish this tour before this place gets rammed with people. I think this must be the center of Sofia because there's so many things around it, interesting things. So right in front of me is an old communist building. It's there, which looks still incredible. And just behind me right there is a statue of Sofia herself. And on that side is an Orthodox church, a Greek Orthodox church. And then on that side is a mosque. And then on the other side of that, it's a synagogue. So <laughs> there's so many things happening in, in this area. And also I forgot to mention, just there behind me is a ruin of an old um, Roman city. And also just there, it's a massive complex, apparently that used to be a shopping center back in the communist time. When you think of ancient cities like London, Lisbon, Rome, Alexandria, they all have one thing in common. They are all located next to a body of water. Sofia is also an ancient city, but if you look at the map, it's not located next to a river or an ocean, but the Romans decided to make this as the capital of one of its municipalities. In fact, Constantine the Great actually considered making Sofia the capital of the Byzantine Empire instead of Constantinople. The reason for that is here. And people are still using it even today. There's loads of people here, like filling up their water bottles with, you know, water coming from the ground and it's warm. Let's try it. Oh wow, it's hot. <laughs> I've been told that you can drink it, so. <laughs> Um, um, it's quite sulfuric, I think. <laughs> so I feel like I've now visited most of the sites. So I'm gonna head back to where the military parade is. There's a brigade just in front of me. They've got really interesting um, uniform. I think the, my, my favorite thing is that single feather on top of their head. <laughs> Started finally. <laughs>
I don't know why, but that made me feel like a kid again. <laughs> Great show. After walking around the city for a bit, I thought I could use some greeneries. <laughs> so I looked at the map and found this garden or this park. It's called Boris Nova Garden. Um, I'll put the actual name here. <laughs> uh, let's explore this. This is a really nice park. It's massive. It will take about an hour to get from one end to another. They also have a pond full of water lilies. And just in front of me, it's a war memorial. Um, just a shame that it's full of graffiti. People just love to vandalize things, don't they? We seem to have made the wrong turn and we're now on the motorway. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Sofia. It's not as busy and touristy as other European capitals, which is always a plus in my books. It has incredible history and beautiful buildings. The city itself is well laid out and easy to explore. It also has an excellent public transport system. The locals are friendly and the food is delicious. And if you're in the city, I would highly recommend Shopska Salad and also try all their dips. You won't regret it, I promise. I'm off to Plovdiv next, so I will see you there. Kita kids, or as you say here in Bulgaria, do skoro!